I've got both of my pieces of fabric painted and dry. So now it's time for me to start sewing those two pieces together. And the first thing I need to decide is what side do I want to have facing out? So I'm gonna have those on the outside of my pillow. And then the parts on the inside are the parts that I don't want to see. Once you've got that decided, you are going to use some pins and you're gonna pin your fabric together. It's super important to do this step because otherwise while you're sewing, that fabric is gonna move around and your pillow is gonna be kind of wonky. So what we wanna do is we wanna line up the edges of our fabric and you're gonna stick a pin in. Don't put it right next to the edge because that's where we're sewing. Stick it in a little bit further in you're gonna push it in through that side on the back and then turn it and push it back out through the front. So on the back, you can see that pin is going through both pieces of fabric and then it comes back out on the front. And then I'll just do that in a couple more places. All right, now that I have both pieces of fabric pinned together and I made sure that the pin is going all the way through on both pieces, I am ready to get my yarn and thread my needle. Um, so in order to thread our needles, we are going to use a special little tool called, well, I like to call it a hot dog bun. So the way that you do this is you take the end of your yarn, you're gonna open up that piece of paper and you're gonna put that yarn into the hot dog bun and then fold it. Now. If your yarn is coming out this the end like that, it's not gonna work very good. So if it's like that, you're just gonna pinch the top of the hot dog bun and pull your yarn until it's inside. And then you don't wanna pinch at the back because it's hard to control it. If you're pinching far away, you wanna pinch right at the front of the hot dog bun hot dog bun <laughs> and then you're just going to put that card through the needle so I'm pulling it all the way through the needle and now I can take that little piece of paper off and my yarn is threaded onto my needle and this part is hard to see all in the video at one time but what I have is I have my needle on the yarn I pulled some of that yarn like this so that the needle won't fall off. If my needle was like right there and there's only a little bit of a tail, it's gonna be hard to keep my needle on my yarn as I'm sewing. So I'm gonna give it a longer tail and then I'm gonna look at the very long piece of yarn all the way down to the bottom. And this is the part that I'm gonna tie a knot into, okay? So over here at the top, I've got my needle with a long, tail right there that's going to keep it onto the string and then I went all the way down to the very end of the longest piece of yarn now I'm ready to tie a knot right here so what I'm going to do to make this faster is I'm going to fold the end of my yarn in half this is just a trick to make the knot bigger more easily so you can see that is thicker than just one strand would be right I'm getting two knots for the price of one so I'm gonna take that double thick part and I'm gonna wrap it around my thumb. And I'm gonna take that little loop that's the tail and push it through the circle and pull. Pull, 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 okay. And now I've got one little knot and it'll be even better if I can get two knots in the same place. So I'm gonna do the same thing again. I'm gonna wrap that whole thing around my thumb Take that little loop that's at the very end, that little tail, pull, 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 and try and get it to line up with the other knot. If you miss on the first time, it's fine. That, that's not a problem. Um, and what you're gonna wanna do next is trim off this part right here. I'll show you what that looks like in just a minute. It just makes it easier to sew with if you don't have a bunch of extra string on the end. All right, so I've trimmed off the little extra bits of yarn that were at the very end of my knot. I made sure not to cut the actual knot, right? There's a little, a little fuzzy bit at the end so that we're not too close to the knot. And now that I have it 
um, tied at the long end, I am ready to start sewing. And just a reminder, the top does not have a knot on it, right? I wanna be able to take my needle off of the yarn at the top if I need to.